So when you run ads on Facebook, you know, it's good that all these numbers are coming in with some results and coming in and all that. But the next question that you're probably asking yourself would be, how do we analyze Facebook ads performance? How do we know if we are doing good or not? How do we benchmark what would be the numbers to look at? Let's dive in and find out in this video. Hey, this is Jason. I help businesses grow with effective Facebook advertising. I actually share a lot of videos about Facebook advertising and digital marketing in my channel. Feel free to look around and remember to hit like and subscribe so that you will be notified for future videos about the topic that we are deeply interested in. So now you have a Facebook ads campaign running. When you're browsing, looking at the, all the numbers and analyzing the metrics and all that, I would like to actually share with you three mistakes that you have to avoid at all costs when it comes to analyzing your Facebook ads campaign. So these are some so-called blind spots that a lot of advertisers are having. So I want you to gain some clarity so that you won't be actually making the mistakes like a lot of people out there when it comes to Facebook advertising analytics. So if you're new to Facebook advertising, you need to have understanding the basic metrics. How do we understand them and uh, make sense of them? I've made some other videos about understanding Facebook ads metrics as well as three key metrics that you must track which I already put the links in the description where you can actually take a look. So if you analyze Facebook ads metrics, I want to point out three commonly make mistakes Facebook advertisers make so that you can avoid them. So the first mistake is a lot of people pay too much attention on the cost per result which is it sounds very important and straightforward isn't it this is the amount that you are paying to get every conversion that you want to get so let's say in the case here is you know we're actually paying about five ringgit which is close to about a dollar each per lead so basically a lot of people will actually judge the performance of this campaign by the fluctuation of cost per result now what i want to highlight to you here is this when you're running ads on facebook you are not paying by cost per result you're actually paying Facebook to run your ads for every 1,000 times Facebook shows your ad. That's why you need to learn how to pull out another important metric which I already highlighted here, is, which is what we call the CPM. Cost per thousand impression is really the cost that you are paying and it's a cost that fluctuates according to the market competition. So when there are more advertisers diving into the market, the cost will come up and when there are lesser competitors advertising, the cost might even come lower. So you have to monitor the CPM. Sometimes when you're actually having some, let's say for example, you have a campaign that has been running well for two weeks and out of sudden in the past two days, it stopped working well and it kind of like getting a very high cost. In fact, the first thing you have to check is to look at the CPM, whether is this the one that is actually causing the cost to come up. The second mistakes a lot of Facebook advertisers make when they're analyzing Facebook ads campaign metrics is they do not monitor overreaching or budget waste. Now, the one thing that we have to monitor here is what we call the frequency. Now, the frequency is really the number of times your audience have seen your ads. Now, there are two scenarios here. When you're targeting a broad audience, whether it's lookalike or broad targeting, you want to make sure the advertisement is always reaching fresh audience because Facebook may reach the same audience because they believe they might take the same action. So you have to monitor the frequency. When the frequency comes up too high, which means your audience are being overreached which in turn, it will actually cause ad fatigue. At the same time, you will be wasting your budget as well. So the frequency that we have to use to benchmark for broad targeting campaign is below two, which means you don't want to show your ads on average, all these people who have seen it for more than two times. On the other hand, we have the retargeting campaign, which we have a little bit more toleration in terms of the frequency because this is really retargeting people who might be interested. Okay, so we will actually go for we are able to allow higher frequency, which is up to five or even sometimes higher depending on the situation. So this is one thing that you have to monitor when it comes to uh, you know, Facebook advertising metrics, not just looking at the basic numbers like results, reach and clicks and all that. Now, the third mistake Facebook advertisers make when it comes to Facebook ads analytics or so-called analysis would be they do not monitor the CTR. In fact, if you look at it here, I have already pulled out the CTR. CTR, there are two types of CTR. CTR all stands for, you know, when you're running for Facebook ads, there are many things you can click on. They could be clicking on the profile picture. They could be clicking on the video play button or the like button and all that. There are many things people can click on. So CTR, all the benchmark is 2%. So if you're below 2%, that could be a sign where your ad is not really attracting people to take action. On the other hand, the CTR link click is where really people clicking on the link or the call to action button. So this is where we will look at whether your ad is really getting people to take the action or not. So the benchmark for CTR is 1% on an average. I mean, basically, if it's too low below CTR, I mean, below 1%, you definitely have to look at uh, whether your creative is really kind of like need to be replaced or you have to think of another angle to get people to take action 
on your advertisement. So there you go. I hope up to now this video gives you all the things that you need to really learn and understand when it comes to analyzing your Facebook ads metrics. Remember, every single Facebook ads campaign is unique because of the industry you are in, the business that you are running or the, even the creative combinations that we are using in the Facebook advertisement. So we need to derive a different sets of data when it comes to analyzing the Facebook ads campaign. So if you need help actually to look at your Facebook ads campaign, whether you have a successful one or not, it's very important for us to find out why. Because if you have a successful campaign, you want to leverage on the success to make more money out of it. You want to know how. On the other hand, if you have a non-successful campaign, we also need to find out why so that we can avoid making the same mistakes in the future. So if you need help, I have already leave a link to actually sign up for a one-on-one -on -one Facebook ads audit by me. In half an hour, we're going to dive into your campaign and to find out the actionable plan for the next steps that you can take to bring your Facebook ads campaign to the next level. So please click on the link in the description and we can have a chat on this thing. So if you like this video, remember to hit the like and subscribe so that you won't be missing more videos coming your way about Facebook advertising and digital marketing. I'll see you in the next video.